Good evening. Today I have a book review of Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham. I just finished this book later this afternoon. This book was written in 2015. <clears throat> I rated this book a 4.5 out of 5. The premise of the book follows around Sebastian Rudd, who is a lawyer who takes cases that really no one else wants and, you know, he hates injustice and does what he can and some of his ethics may or may not be on the up and up. Um, the, the book itself really isn't an, uh, a novel in the classic sense. It's really kind of sectioned off in these little bitty stories but at the same time you get you know this overarching development of the character of Sebastian Rudd <clears throat> you get glimmer into his life and then you also see some interweaving from some of the characters and that he represents and some of the stories and cases and they have some carryover into the others he's quite the character you know, besides being a lawyer, he's divorced and his wife is, you know, they they did, ended the marriage early and there was a kid involved. And he, she fights him every turn for custody and he gets very, very limited custody or visitation, I should say. So that's definitely a big element in the plot. There's also the fact that <clears throat> he is... In an investor in a local MMA fighter on the up and up. And there's that plot twist. Obviously, again, spoilers, but that becomes a major case. And, you know, a bad decision by one of the fighter that he was kind of representing that was up and coming. You know, the one I really liked was the kind of the mafia guy and he's on death row and it's the zero hour and there's not going to be any appeal at the last minute and he's getting the chair and then all of a sudden there's like this caper and he's vanishes. I believe the story was called the boom boom room. And I really like that. And I really like the fact that later, you know, this mafia guy's, you know, having people come and speak to him and, you know, cloak and dagger, like, I need $100,000 or, you know, it's just, it's very interesting. And there's also the whole police detective was another, another big story where the police in that, er in that area, <clears throat> after, you know, 9-11, Homeland Security, they get huge funds and the next thing you know, they're you know, this lawless tank gun toting, you know, SWAT team that goes on, you know, this drug raid and ends up making a huge mistake. And then he take, he defends the, the gentleman and they take him to court. And it's very interesting. Um, I really enjoyed this book. 4.5 out of 5. Definitely, probably would be, I would guess is one of my top John Grisham books. I've read probably 20 John Grisham books and I'm starting to get a few so I can reread again. This is definitely a, a favorite. I highly recommend this book. I, th Unlike some of his other books, this one is seems to be a more concise, succinct plot in writing. It feels very, I, I use the word a lot, very tight writing. And there's just not a lot of fluff in it. And I really like that. And I also like the fact that, I don't know, it's it's not really short stories in this thing. It's really like these little contained stories that melt into the overall story. And, and they kind of Easter egg into some of the others. And I really enjoyed that. It really, it really kept me like turning the pages. So I highly recommend this book. Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham, 4.5 out of 5. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks.